I'm not gonna sit here and take it anymore. Hillary Clinton is back trying to divide this country while Barack Hussein Obama is on a deserted island writing his memoirs trying to divide succulent hot dogs. Hillary Clinton has taken the podium and she's trying to divide this country again with her rhetoric. We're going to talk about that more on the Russia claims and the nonsense regarding that. That just seems to never stop. We're going to talk about Texas trying to pass legislation to become a constitutional carry state. It's funny that you would have to pass legislation to be considered a constitutional carry state. Constitution. That uh, that actually should apply to all states. Yeah, there's Barack Obama writing his memoirs, dividing $65,000 worth of succulent hot dogs. We'll also have Millie Weaver come on to talk about some new birth control that is about to hit the market. And we'll take your calls as well. Um, after this segment and later on in the second hour as well. But let's start off the show with Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton came back. I had to deal with her on Wednesday. She's not done, though. She was in the iron lung for a couple months. She got to her full strength, and now she's back. Let's go to Hillary Clinton's latest. This is from Georgetown University. Go ahead and roll the first clip. About a decade earlier, there had been a landmark resolution passed in the U.N. Security Council affirming women's crucial roles in peace and security. Mm. But the promise of that resolution has, with very few exceptions, remained largely unfulfilled. Mm. We're talking about bills and legislation affirming that women are important. Isn't that cute, folks? Bills and legislation affirming women. A nice pat on the head. Hillary Clinton likes that. She wants a nice little pat on the head with a little legislation. So here you go. Since apparently she's not getting enough legislation to affirm women, how about this? Women are very important. We have women that are helping to run this show right now. They help run our accounting department. These are great women, and they are very important to making sure that InfoWars runs smoothly. So thank you to all the women. Is that nice affirmation for you? My guess is those women like getting a paycheck, but hey, I don't know. I'm Hillary Clinton just wants to make sure they get affirmation. So she's complaining about not enough affirmation or not enough recognition via these bills and legislation. What What is with the left? How do you pass legislation for affirmation. But there you go. A nice little pat on the head for Hillary Clinton. Go ahead and roll the next one. Advancing the rights and full participation of women and girls is the great unfinished business of the 21st century. This is what she was parroting on Wednesday. Now she's back at it. Victimizing women. It, when you victimize someone, you cripple them, folks. So this is a tactic this is a deliberate tactic that Hillary Clinton is using to victimize her constituents. Really sad, really evil. Let's roll to the next one. Advancing the rights and full participation of women and girls is the great unfinished business of the 21st century. So, um, wait a second. I didn't hear her mention transgenders or pansexuals or any of that. She only mentioned women. So I'm just confused here because... I mean, is she transsexual? I mean, does she only care about women? Doesn't it, doesn't that make her a sexist by the liberal logic? So I'm just trying to figure this out. But um, I don't know. I guess Hillary Clinton is a transsexist because she only wants women to advance. Uh, I'm just going by the liberal logic here. None of it makes sense to me. But again, we're talking about liberals and Hillary Clinton. I, by the way, people were cheering for her this entire speech. <laughs> cheering for Hillary Clinton. Go ahead and roll the next one. Women represent half of humanity, and we do have a fundamental right to participate in the decisions that shape our lives. You know, I think that it's time for Hillary Clinton to give that speech in Saudi Arabia. What do you think about that? Maybe she, in fact, why doesn't Hillary Clinton do an entire tour of the Middle East? She can just, she can just do a speaking tour at all of these countries in the Middle East and, and, and say those exact same words. And then, of course, again, People cheer for her nonstop as she's taking money from these countries. I, yeah, Hillary Clinton, give that speech in Saudi Arabia. That'll be the day. Let's roll to the next one. A rising tide of women's rights lifts entire nations. 
because standing up for the rights and opportunities of women and girls must be a cornerstone of American global leadership, and therefore it must be woven throughout our foreign policy with the resources, staffing, accountability, and attention needed to back up that commitment. Okay, again, why don't you give that speech in Saudi Arabia? You'll give that speech in America all day long because guess what? We accept women here and women's rights. But again, she's not going to give that in Saudi Arabia because she knows. In fact, we just had the video, wasn't it in Saudi Arabia, of some guy beating women with a stick? Trying to herd them? Okay, Hillary, but she take again, she takes money from Saudi Arabia, talks about women's rights in America where women have rights, but she would never give that speech in Saudi Arabia. Let's roll to the next one. But I'm here also to say we are seeing signals of a shift that should alarm us all. Mm. This administration's proposed cuts to international health, mm. development, and diplomacy would be a blow to women and children and a grave mistake for our country. So here she is, the loser, not our president, telling us how to run our country trying to demonize the Trump administration. So thank you, Hillary Clinton. What you're here to do also is divide this country. That's the only reason why you crawled out of your iron lung to give these speeches. Let's roll to the next one. Turning our back on diplomacy won't make our country safer. It will undermine our security and our standing in the world. I love this one. This, is, this may be the richest one. Diplomacy is needed, she says. Diplomacy is needed. As the Democrats and the anti-Trumpers in government will have none of it. No diplomacy. Trump is actually out here trying to reach out to all corners of the government. Democrats, Republicans, Freedom Caucus, everybody. Bringing in people for meetings from all walks of life. And Hillary Clinton is up here talking about diplomacy as if it's the Trump administration or the Trump team that is, doesn't want to have diplomatic relations when it's all the Democrats, all the anti-Trumpers. And we'll have more to prove that. But this is just absurd. This woman gives this speech and then gets cheered by a bunch of lemmings who would follow her right off a cliff to their death. This is ridiculous. Roll to the next one. Studies show, here I go again, talking about research, evidence, and facts. <laughs> Ooh, look at that smug ass. <sighs> Hillary, I've talked to your supporters. They have no facts. They have no evidence. Half of them don't even have any logic or common sense left. And that's because you have twisted their minds so much with your double think and your lies. And, and she is out here. Yeah, look at this. Here I go again talking about research, evidence, and facts. Hey, look, you lost. Okay. Look, I don't need to talk about how, she, how sick she looks. This is just such a joke. How many videos has InfoWars put out displaying how ignorant and, and even in some instances just blatantly mentally ill Hillary Clinton supporters are. So I don't even think I should have to talk about this one. Uh, but Hillary Clinton says that in a speech. Here she, here I go again. <laughs> As she tries to use fake news to attack Donald Trump the entire campaign. What an absolute fraud. Go crawl back into your iron lung, please, Hillary Clinton. Please. Roll to the next one. And we know that women's rights and physical safety are often the very first targets <clears throat> of fundamentalists. Hmm. Now, what does she mean by that? Fundamentalists. Of course, she, again, these are just little key words that they try to use to talk about the Trump administration or Donald Trump or Trump supporters. We're fundamentalists now. Yeah, I guess if you consider having a border a fundamental aspect of a country, then yes, I'm a fundamentalist. But who are the real fundamentalists? Let's think about this now. She says that fundamentalists, the first thing they attack are women's rights. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't see the Trump supporters attacking women's rights at all. What fundamentalists are attacking women's rights? ISIS, radical Islam. That's the fundamentalist targeting women's rights. But you are completely silent on that, Hillary Clinton. Pathetic. Pathetic. Let's roll to the next garbage from Hillary Clinton's mouth. So if we are to build more just, free, and 
peaceful countries and indeed a world it's not enough just to pay lip service to empowering women. We have to take seriously their concerns oh, like you and do? give them the tools to be equal partners. When you defend a rapist in court, the world they inhabit, of making sure that girls and women have the same rights as men and boys, and by extending and guaranteeing those rights, unleashing human potential the likes of which the world has never seen listen to the absurdity of this folks this is hillary clinton literally at her own award ceremony the hillary clinton award ceremony giving out awards to other women telling those very same women that they are not empowered and that they're victims again let me go through this for you hillary clinton giving awards to women, a woman giving awards to women at an award ceremony named after a woman telling women that they're victims, telling women that they are disenfranchised. Have you ever heard of a more despicable thing in your life? I mean, honestly, how, how ridiculous does this get? How can the left not see the own lunacy of their own existence when it's right there. Oh, woo! I'm at the Hillary Clinton Award Foundation uh, and they're giving awards to women and there's five women keynote speakers. Oh my gosh, women are so oppressed. Give me a break. And she's up here telling women that they're victims. This woman has been, I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. are you serious? Look at Hillary Clinton. How is Hillary Clinton not even an example that women are empowered in the West? A total evil demon, but still. Ran for president, almost won. You say popular vote all day. How are women disenfranchised? How are women victims? A woman speaker, one of five keynote women speakers at a award ceremony dedicated to women, for women, telling each other about how they're all oppressed. You've never heard of a more ridiculous thing in your life folks but that's what you get i don't know how somebody lives under this plane of existence but they do the hillary clinton supporters are still out there it's pretty amazing so this is the type of rhetoric that's been dividing this country and continues to divide this country now that she's back hillary clinton is back trying to divide this country Now we are introducing a new t-shirt, which I think folks need to get, uh, telling the real truth about Bill Clinton, who is a serial rapist and a user of women. In another case, it's about groping and fondling and touching against a woman's will. And rape. And rape. Bill rapes them physically, and then Hillary rapes them psychologically. He's a rapist. Absolutely. He's a public figure. He goes straight to hell. Get your Bill Clinton rape shirt today at InfoWarsStore.com or call 1-800-253-3139.